everyone welcome to Eden Secret today I'm making a soap that was inspired by episode 16 of soap making from scratch anybody remember which episode was episode 16 and what was it about well it was the oatmeal soap this out of all of the soap making from scratch episodes has been my favorite soap to make I absolutely love it it's a ground oatmeal soap, uh, ground up very, very fine in the Vitamix and then tipped into your soap batter. It's also got oat milk in there as well. Um, it has a fantastic rough texture, which I didn't expect because I was thinking if I grind the oatmeal down, um, probably... Um, will be a super smooth bar but it, it isn't it's a rough bar but I love that it I love it on the skin it's just gorgeous it give you a fantastic gentle exfoliation that will be really really good for dry skin conditions and normal skin but yeah you can use it for dry skin and I thought one of these days I'm gonna make a bar that I can actually sell in my store because in the UK we have to have safety assessments I know you all know this but just in case somebody doesn't know we have to have a safety assessment before we sell anything cosmetic but that's not a bad thing it's actually a good thing because we know before we sell any of them that the products have been properly assessed and we know they're safe for skin use but saying that I'd still rather swap with the USA and do it without all the assessments because it gives you incredible freedom just taking some regular um, Scottish porridge oats and I've ground them up in the Vitamix as you can see for about three minutes until you end up with this gorgeous fine rich ingredient to add to many things but today we're adding it to soap right so we've got our oat milk in here our ground oats in here let's get making some soap shall we so we just need a few oats that I'm going to decorate the top of the soap with Okay, so we got a pretty orange mixture going on here, but both the oils and the lye solution, the milk, are at 34 degrees centigrade. Celsius, sorry, I meant Celsius. And a seasoned pro with the or uh, with using milks, just to said said to put put those uh, lovely lumps of fat into your soap mixture no need to um, throw them out it's all goodness at the end of the day so we've all 
already got a fantastic colour going on. Like pumpkin, isn't it? So we're not quite a trace yet, but we've got a nice smooth batter. Um, I'm going to add my oatmeal now. And it says online that you can add one to six teaspoons per pound of oil. So that means in the UK or EU for every half a kilo, it's not exactly a pound, but half a kilo is approximately a pound. So I'm going to add a tablespoon for a tablespoon um, per pa a tablespoon per pound a tablespoon per kilo. So I've got five and a half kilos in here. I might add more. One. Yeah. One's not enough, is it? I'm going to put ten in. Because the last one, I did put a lot in. That's what I liked about it. I think I've put five in there, haven't I? Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I need eleven because I've got five and a half kilos, so I'm just doubling up. add a dish uh, before it's a trace because it's going to take quite a lot of blending in any clumps up that might be in there I mean if there's any clumps in it's not going to hurt anybody you know So I decided to use just my regular loaf moulds uh, rather than the tall and skinny. Put a little bit of oatmeal, milk and honey fragrance in there from Nature's Garden. So I'm hoping it doesn't discolour too much because it does say a light tan uh, but I don't want it to discolour. I don't want it to go dark brown. Watch it going dark 
go dark brown. I don't want it to. It is accelerating. But it smells nice. Very nice. I haven't put much in. I've just put a bit in because I don't want to overpower it uh, with a fragrance oil. I just wanted to give it a little bit of smell. I'm thinking I'm feeling a, a fork, a textured fork. It's funny, even though it's uh, accelerated, it's still soft, so it's not crazy. Right, so shall we just have that on one side and then put the oats on the other side? to be gold. That's it. Some nice glittery gold rolled oats. Just sprinkle those down. We're going to need to press them in somewhat. So I'll just, oh, oh, that is gorgeous. Sometimes the simple ones are always the best. Oh, so pretty. And so good for you. You just know it, don't you? Oh, look at that. I've got a big crack. I've never had one before. Bit gutted about that. I wonder why it's got so hot. It must be the fragrance. Shouldn't have used it. I shouldn't have used it. I could 
great big earthquake. Right, let's see if we can get rid of this crack. It's fairly well saponified, that's why I'm able to touch it with my fingers. But it's still soft enough that I can move it over. But you wouldn't want to get this behind your fingernail. Don't want to waste a pair of gloves on doing this. I'm not suggesting you do it. I'd suggest you do put gloves on. Well, looks like we've got no crack again. The crack's gone, but I could get up tomorrow and there could be a great big split in it, couldn't there? But we'll see. Fingers crossed we won't. I'm hoping from now on it's going to cool down so we won't get another split. Okay, because we've got oats on the top and we, do, we want to avoid drag marks. If you've got any decoration, any botanicals or oats or poppy seeds or anything at all sprinkled on the top, you need to turn the soap another way so that when you cut it you don't get those horrible drag marks right through your soap. I mean obviously it's an oatmeal soap so it's plain but it's really really good really gorgeous and see we've got a little bit of gel in the center there and I actually like that it gives the bar some character It smells toasty and gorgeous. say that a lot Donna. So here we have our ground oatmeal and milk soap. Smells toasty and delicious. Really really nice. So good for the skin. So nourishing and I absolutely love it. Uh, as I said it's been my favourite soap from the soap making from scratch series except for the Aleppo inspired soap. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you want to try a piece of our ground oatmeal soap which you'll find on my website www.edensecret.co don't forget there's a double s in the middle of Eden's secret and I'll see you over there if I don't see you over there I'll see you back here on YouTube for another video very very soon all right, my friends. Bye-bye for now.